Depot Square Park in Tamaqua was really an idea that came from our history. When the Reading Railroad built the uh, Reading Passenger Depot, which is the Tamaqua train station of today in 1874, they partnered with the borough of Tamaqua and built a beautifully landscaped ornate Victorian garden right next door. This was the height of the Victorian era and uh, there was a beautiful garden next to the train station when it was first built. And so for many years of our history in Tamaqua, we wanted to recreate that Victorian garden next to the train station. And uh, we were able to do that uh, with, with the help of many partners, not the least of which is the Amarata Hess Corporation who donated their gas station so that we can convert it into this park. But the story really starts before that. Uh, we had some concepts for revitalizing our Main Street district and we had some drawings of, the, of what the Hess gas station could look like if they would landscape it and make it nice. And in our conversations, they, we, we, the conversation soon turned to donating the gas station to the community and converting it into a Victorian landscaped garden similar to what was originally at the train station. And so uh, with the help of many partners like the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy and many donors who helped to sponsor the, the lights and the, the fountain and, uh, and the gardens, uh, we've been able to, to recreate that beautiful feeling of a Victorian landscape garden with, with a, a fountain. And I remember some of the early conversations about Depot Square Park with what, what would be the, the best use and how we should develop it. And there were some people in the community who wanted to make it a parking lot. And there were some people in the community who thought it, it, it should be left as a gas station because, it, because of the tax base. And I remember the Tamaquiri Community Partnership had a unique uh, idea of what to do with the property, uh, which was to turn it into a park because it's the most central property in, in our community. It's right at the main intersection of Route 209 and 309, and it is the front gate, uh, the, the doorstep, if you will, of the train station. And uh, the idea was to make make this, this central location uh, beautifully landscaped and, and really ornate and just a beautiful welcome uh, to the community. And in the original design, we had a gazebo uh, as the central feature of Depot Square Park. And we thought because Tamaqua is an Indian word for land of the running water, that a, a, wa a fountain would be more appropriate. And when we, when we were selecting the design of the fountain, we, we selected a, a fountain with a pineapple on top uh, at, at the pinnacle. It's the finial on top of, of the fountain at, at Depot Square Park. And in Victorian language uh, of, of, of gardens, the pineapple is a symbol of welcome. And so the, 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 the park and the fountain literally says welcome to Tamaqua with the pineapple of welcome and the, and the running water of the fountain. So it, it welcomes visitors, it welcomes residents, it welcomes past residents back to their community and says welcome to Tamaqua, you're in a very special place. And, and this park is there uh, as, a, as a symbol of the prosperity of the community, our past and the prosperity to, to come. Depot Square Park is a focal point within our community. Uh, about 15 years ago, it was a 1970s style Hess gas station. And the Hess company and the Hess family decided that they wanted to build another one, so they, want, they donated that land to the community it, with the promise that it be kept as a green space. So what we did was we took it and we made it into a beautiful park, a Victorian style park, trying to recreate what's, what was originally with the station. Uh, way back when, when the station was there, they had beautiful Victorian gardens, Victorian fountain, and that's exactly what we did. We, it's not an exact duplicate, but it is a replica of what was there uh, back in the 18, 1900s. So it's all maintained by volunteers. Uh, donations allowed us to put in the fountain. We had a lot of partnerships formed to be able to do that work down there, and the volunteer force that we have takes care of it. Very picturesque, nice relaxing place for somebody to just sit and enjoy the outside. It's also a nice place to just sit and take in the center of our community.